Number 2 cannot come in this cell and after removing 2 we can fill 6 here. How will it happen? Why will it happen? To know this keep watching. Welcome friends to our channel and in today's video you will learn about omission technique. What is it and how to apply it to solve sudoku puzzles. Before we start I would like to say that if you don't understand the meaning of any word in the video like cell, block, row etc. Then you should first watch a video named Sudoku Vocabulary. You will find the link in the description. So let's start. Omission is of two types. First I will explain the boring definition and then we will see an interesting example to understand the technique. So the first type says that if in a block all the nodes for a number are in a single row or a single column then this number cannot be placed in that row or column outside this block. Let's understand it better with an example. For example, look at the number 2 in this block. All the cells where number 2 can go are part of row F as well. And just like we have seen in the definition, if this is the case, then number 2 cannot be placed in all of these cells in this row. Now let's understand the reason behind it, how it works. So pay attention. In this block, number 2 must be placed somewhere. And for that, we have two options, which are these cells. Now, if we place number 2 here, then if number 2 appears anywhere in this row, it has to be removed. Or if we place number 2 here in this block, then it cannot appear in these other cells in this row. Now the common point in both these scenarios is that number 2 absolutely cannot come in these cells. Therefore, wherever number 2 is visible in all these cells, we can remove it without any mistake. For example, number 2 will be removed from this cell and as a result, 6 will be placed here and this cell will be sold. In Sudoku world, this type of omission is also called the pointing technique. Let's now look at another example of the same type involving a block and a column. So in this puzzle, look at number 4 in this block. Number 4 can only come in these two cells and both of these cells are part of this column as well. So according to the definition of omission that was told earlier, number 4 cannot be placed anywhere in this column outside this block. So we can easily remove number 4 from these two places. The reason is same as we explained in the previous example. Now before starting the next part of the video, I want to tell you that if you want to practice this technique very well in lots of puzzles, then download my Sudoku app. The link is provided in video and channel description. In this app, start any puzzle and if you use hints, then along with omission, many other advanced techniques are also shown with very easy explanations. Now let's continue. In this part of the video, we will understand the second type of omission. First, we will understand the definition again and then we will learn the example. So the definition says that if in a row or column all the possible nodes for a number are present in only one block, then in that block the number cannot be placed in any cells that are not part of that row or column. Let's look at an example. In this puzzle, look at number 3 in this row. All the cells in this row where number 3 can be placed are also part of this block. So according to the definition, number 3 cannot be placed anywhere in this block outside of second row. So we can remove number 3 from these cells in this block. Again, the reason is same as we saw in the example of the first type. Let's look at it one more time to understand it well. So we have two ways to place number 3 in this row. We can place it here or at this spot. Whichever of these two options we choose, as soon as number 3 is placed in this row, it will also be placed in this block. And because of this, number 3 will be removed from all the cells in this block that are not part of this row. 
So in this example, number 3 will be removed from these places. This type of omission is also known as claiming technique. Now let's look at another example of this type which involves a column and a block. In this puzzle, look at number 8 in 5th column. All the cells where number 8 can be placed are part of this block. So again, whether we place 8 here or here in this column, number 8 will also be placed within the block at the same time. And because of this, we can remove number 8 from these places. So that was all about the omission technique. If you didn't understand something, you can watch the video again. And if you understood, then practice this technique on many Sudoku puzzles. The link to my own app is in the channel and video description. Please like and share the video and subscribe the channel. We will again meet in the next video.